Now, last spring we had a very wet spring and this field was full of uh, wildflowers and it brought a lot of these uh, flycatchers, barn swallows. One of the only interventions we've put in the uh, field is perches like that one, which is for measuring purposes. And then I put in two tall neem wood, very hard wood stakes. Well, one was about six, seven feet high, the other one was about four. So the idea was to create two perches. So if a pair came, one could be on the top one, one could be on the bottom one. We had a mated pair of the Tyrannus verticalis last year, and we got to observe them and study them. That said, the first hunter here of that size and range is the loggerhead shrike, which I've never seen before until this week. And today we see the female is here as well. One of them is in that bush. It flew to that cactus. Yeah, that's the male, I believe. Female seems to have a huge white belly. That's it, though. It is the only Shrike in North America. That is her. That's her, and she's definitely got a protruding belly-like thing going on. My guess is there's eggs in there. The loggerhead shrike is also known as the butcher bird. It kills its prey by stabbing them on things like barbed wire or thorns. So we could even find small insects stuck on thorns around here somewhere now, as evidence of these guys' work. I thought we'd go see if we could find any scraps of insects on the barbed wire. The reason why the loggerhead shrike has to use barbs and thorns and other things to kill its prey is because the loggerhead shrike is a songbird that behaves like a predatory bird. As a songbird, it doesn't have talons, so it can't rip apart its prey. Instead, it uses, you know, sharp edges of things to do that. Let's see if we can find some evidence of that behavior here. They will even poisonous insects, they will leave the poisonous part of the insect behind, eating only the head and the abdomen. Now, could that be a nest? The numbers of the loggerhead shrike have dwindled tremendously in recent years, and so this is an exciting opportunity to capture the behavior of a mated pair, perhaps having chicks. Is that a nest? It looks very much like it could be. beginnings of one. I don't see any insect bits at the moment. This is what they're looking at. They've got the pond, they can pull up fish and so on. They've got the creek bed. 
And they've got this perch which looks over the grass, filled with small insects too, and worms. So these loggerhead shrikes are now hunting our field and stream. Yes, I believe that's the female and that she's carrying eggs. This is January 28th. And this pursuit of the loggerhead shrike has got us in a nice situation here where as the spring does you know, practically open, the weather gets warmer and the, all of this field starts to rise up and you'll see it full of flowers, uh, many more of these birds will be arriving. So we are in a good position to study them. The car is just not close enough for us to be able to really get what we want here, capture as much of the bird activity here in the field. The Hirundo rustica, the barn swallows will come and they'll fish in these ponds once the spring comes. These loggerheads are going to be here for some time and we'll also get uh, the Tyrannus verticalis. So that's it for loggerhead shrike day. Uh, more from the Rocky Point Field and Stream coming soon. Today, January 28th, 2017.